Hello everyone, my name is Igor and today I'm going to give you a short overview of the Lightly framework for self-supervised learning and the platform for data creation. So as you see here, I have uh, my setup uh, consisting of a terminal I have open. I have here a project uh, with a folder of images. Those are images of pizzas. Uh, we have salami images, uh, salami pizza images and margarita images and all of them of different sizes. Uh, as you see here, we have pretty small ones and larger ones. Um, so I have the data set prepared. I also have here on the right side my browser open, uh, pointed to the application https app.lightly.ai. Uh, just register if you haven't yet, uh, log in and head over to my data set. So this is like an overview of the different projects. Uh, let me create a new one, a pizza data set we're going to use for the quick demo now. Um, once you create a data set, we provide you with the uh, sample uh, command for the CLI. So we have a command line interface. You can install the, Pyth uh, the Python package using pip, uh, pip install uh, lightly. I already did that. And as you see, I also have, a, I'm working in a Conda environment. So just make sure you have the, the package installed and then copy paste this uh, command, just make sure you change the path to your folder. Um, I'm doing that right now and I'm already uploading the data set. What's happening now in the background is that the Python package goes through the folder, queries all the images, extracts meta information and uploads them to the uh, cloud platform. Uh, once we did that, we can access the data set in the platform. You can just refresh the screen. Uh, as you see here, it already worked. Um, if I refresh again, I should also see the thumbnails. Um, let me check. Ah, there you go. So here we have the thumbnails. We can just query for a bunch of them. As you see, we preserve the aspect ratio of the images. You see whether uh, th those are quite different or not. Uh, you also see total dataset size and uh, size in megabytes. Now we can head over to have a look at the histograms. Uh, so the histograms are simple meta information from the data set, which are computed. For example, the aspect ratio of each image. So the ones with a low aspect ratio are usually ones more in a portrait mode. As you see here, as I go to the right, on the top, the decision boundary is changing. So you can always see which kind of uh, samples we still have in the data set and which not. I will now do some simple selection, don't want to have too small or too large images. I also don't want to work with very large file sizes. So let me tag this data set, uh, correct size, for example. As you see, I can always go back and forward in the tags. So it's like a commit on GitHub to keep track of your data set. I could also now just download the data set, either the full one or the reduced one. Uh, we also tell you estimated savings in annotation costs and also CO2 savings because if you have less data, you save energy. And what we will do now is we actually want to go to sampling. Uh, what we want to do is we want to upload embeddings of our data set. We can do this by uh, using the lightly embed command followed by upload. Uh, let me quickly do this. So we have lightly embed. I just need to point it to the data set. Uh, you could also just take the command uh, fr from the right side. Again, from the, uh, I think it's really handy that we show you the, the command you could use. So what it's, what's happening now is because I don't train the model, I just use a pre-trained model from our model zoo, which will just create um, embeddings and store them in a CSV file. You could now also have a look at the, at the different embeddings. I think those should be around, uh, I think 16 or 32 dimensions. And what we can do now is upload the embeddings. You can just basically use the same command as before, lightly upload, but just make sure we upload the embeddings. And now we already upload them to the platform. And once again, once it's uploaded, we can just simply refresh and the platform should see we uploaded the embeddings. Now something changed. Uh, here on the right side, uh, we automatically calculate the PCA of the embeddings. So we have just a two-dimensional representation. 
uh, here you see the full plot. And you see some of those points are a bit shaded, darker, uh, lighter actually. And those are the ones which are not selected anymore in the set based on the selection I, I did before with the histograms. I can also just have a look at the samples, the individual ones, by uh, putting my mouse and hovering over them. I can also just say, like, I want to see a bunch of images at once, have a look at them. And even more interesting is what I can do now. I can create a core, uh, different sampling algorithms. I can run them on the data set. And now I do this on the uh, reduced data set already. So on correct size, I apply a core set algorithm. What is going to happen in the background is uh, with core set, we just start at one point and we add only samples which are as, as far apart as possible to the existing data set. So we actually diversify the data set. Um, we don't respect the, the density of the samples. So as, as I move the slider to the left, you see that the points actually really just cover the mostly the, bo the, the border of the, the whole space. And maybe I just want to keep roughly 20 points and I can call them core set filtered. And now I have my final data set. I just uh, curated the data set based on my, uh, my uh, definition of what I want to do. And I could just download it now using the images or download the file names. Um, what would be a next step? I could share this data set with a friend uh, who can continue working with it. I could also share it with a labeling company, for example, to do the annotations and finally then download it to train my model. I hope this uh, gave you a good overview of what you can do with Lightly.